When I think about achieving the dream, I think about a framework, a way in which the college can look at our mission, creating educational opportunities for our diverse community of learners to thrive in an evolving world, that it rolls everything up together. It gives us the opportunity to look at our institutional effectiveness work, our outcomes, and to see if students are achieving. And it's part of a broader national movement with over 200 colleges that are really focusing on evidence and looking at how it is that we're serving students and whether or not our students are achieving their goals, which generally is a certificate or a degree. Hopefully it will allow more students to be successful. Um, we haven't always done a great job of tracking all of the different um, ethnic groups and age groups um, that, that come to Pierce College and making sure that everyone is, is reaching their goals. This will allow us to very carefully track students and make sure that all of our students are, are reaching their goals. We're using data. Uh, we're, we're measuring where students are. We're measuring where students are getting hung up. Where are these gaps? Um, and we're breaking it down. We call this disaggregating the data. So into the demographic groups. So we can actually kind of point to where is a barrier? Where is a gap? And then we're going to work collectively as a college, uh, faculty, staff, administration, everybody to try to identify what can we do to help students overcome these barriers? How can we move students through and help them get to their, their goal, their, their dream? My ultimate goal is to transfer to a four-year university, preferably Gonzaga, so I could get my master's in communication because I want to be a Chinese interpreter. I definitely want to get my Associates of Arts so I can transfer to a four-year. What do I want to accomplish is, is a good start to my resume. I want to have these things on there that show that I'm a good person for the job. Well, to achieve some sort of a discipline as I get ready to go into the work field, uh, you know, some routine, you know, school, you know, it, it obviously gives you a lot of discipline as, you, as you're attending here, as well as transfer to a four-year college and pursue my desired career. When, you, when a student enrolls at the college, we know things about that student. We know their, their demographics, if you will. So we track them that way um, in, a, in a way that's very sophisticated. This first year, uh, we spend our time collecting data. Uh, we have the data team who they have very, very carefully gone through and extracted student success data. Like I said, we disaggregated data, um, taking a look at where are these gaps, where are these barriers. Uh, also this year then we're taking that data and we're breaking down uh, the data to help us determine where do we want to make our interventions, what are our strategy areas that we want to address. And so we're able to look and see who is actually having trouble here at Pierce College. Then what we will be doing is trying to figure out what kinds of interventions can we put in place to make sure that groups of students that are having a harder time reaching their goals or reaching their dreams have a chance to do that. So the more that we can know about students um, broken down demographically means that we can target resources to help students be more successful. So it really gives the college an understanding of where students are succeeding and where students are not succeeding and how we can intervene and help offer those services. It's bigger than just an initiative, it's bigger than, a, than a, just a focus or a thing to do or the thing of the day. It's more of, of a way of being, a way of the life of the college, the way the things that we implement, be it um, um, the way we decide that we're going to change how we engage our students, new student orientation, college success programs, all of those things become a part of achieving the dream, but they are things that we do anyway and we need to look at how we do them to make sure that we're doing them that's best for these, the student that comes to us. What we'll be doing is based on what we've seen in the data that we've looked at, we will be designing a series of interventions to um, try to change what's happening with students, to change policies, to change um, courses, to make sure that students are reaching their goals. And what we'll be doing as we make those changes is we'll be tracking their success rates. And if we see changes in their success rates, then we'll know that we've achieved what we wanted to with the interventions. If we don't see the success rates we wanted to see in the data, we'll modify those interventions or come up with new interventions until we do see the kinds of changes we'd like to see. 
And one of the most important parts of that is the conversation that we need to be having amongst each other. So we need our classified staff, our faculty, our administration talking together about what kinds of strategies could we implement that will successfully impact these students who are not being as successful right now. I think as a nation, we are recognizing the, valuable, the value of college degrees. Uh, President Obama has made it pretty clear the last few years that uh, that's our future. Uh, and so in higher education, we need to be aware that a college education, a college degree is going to be a difference maker in people's lives. That's how people are going to contribute to society. That's how they're going to contribute to uh, our economy. Um, that's where jobs are. We, we keep uh, hearing the, the data about all these jobs going unfilled because people aren't prepared for them. And higher education has that role. Higher education can uh, get that aspect of students' lives, of, of our nation's economy moving forward. And so there's pressure on us to make sure that uh, students are well prepared, that they can go out and, and get good jobs and help, help the nation contribute to society.